A tēnā tātou katoa, a, e mihinu i atu ki a koutou katoa, a, e me hono re mōku, hei whakapua re i tēnei ahi-ahi, mō tātou hui atou, nō reira, hei noi tātou. Koto ki nā te kawa, ko te kawa nui, ko te kawa roa, ko te kawa whakatike tike i āhua mai nō tiki tiki o te rangi. I tipu ko te pū, ko te wau, ko te rito, ko te take, ko te pukanga, ko te wānanga, ko te taura, ko te tauira. Te nei rā, te awhinoku, te awhirangi nō, te ororo i o matua. I pua i e i te take take, i ui ui nuku, i ui ui rangi. Te nei ko te hohou, ki rungi i te tipua, ki rungi i te tawhito, ki rungi i te kāhui o ngā reki. Ko pote i e nei tauira, i te whaiya, ki te ao mārama. Ohi, wero, tau mai te mauri hau mi e hui e, tai e. A kia ora tātou. Kia ora, Wanamu. Thank you again for that rousing start for day three, our final day of the Student Service Centres Conference for 2021, our 14th uh, conference for Student Service Centres. Again, wonderful to be here uh, and to join you all. I have to say on day three, I am missing the fact that we didn't all party the night away last night um, at a great location uh, in Wellington. Uh, and I have fond, fond memories of the 2014 uh, Student Services Centres Conference we hosted here at AUT, where we did just that. Uh, I do have to say, though, that my LinkedIn um, profile has had lots of hits, and I totally encourage you all to connect uh, through those other means with presenters, um, with other colleagues, uh, using all of the tools that we have available to us. In terms of reflections for yesterday, my eyes opened this morning and I went, I better get up, the world needs me. I, my husband turned to me and he said, how are you? He was very sleepy. I said, I'm fabulous. Uh, how inspiring was Lisa O'Neill yesterday? How much energy did she bring to the conference? And what a great time to inject that level of energy inside of all of us. Uh, because as Tere mentioned, you know, we've, we've coming out the outside or maybe well within a global pandemic. And actually what we've had to do within our institutions and within us, and we've seen this through some of the sessions over the last couple of days, is we've had to work differently. We've had to work in an emergency management mode, we've had to work with pace, uh, and we've had to be adaptable to unknown challenges. Um, and, and we've had to achieve outcomes that we never thought were possible. Uh, and not lose sight of the student at the heart of those adjustments and those challenges and the uh, relevance of the student voice coming through in the sessions yesterday um, was incredibly important, highlighting the legislative response that the New Zealand government is taking to that, but actually feeds in really well to the start of our programme day three, which is our student panel.